gentlemen, welcome to the first annual Blackburn Rovers Series end of season awards. So tonight's spectacular will be dishing out awards to many players for their performances on the field. So let's waste no more further ado and kick us off with our very first award. So in our first end of season award, we will go where, right back to the beginning of the season where Tony Mowbray drafted in a whole crew of new personnel. It is the 2017-2018 signing of the season. So upon relegation to League One, current manager Tony Mowbray brought in a whole host of new players to the club. Some at a cost, some were free transfers, and of course, there were some low needs. Some will be considered a waste of space. Others, though, were considered a bit of a shrewd purchase. Here are a list of the players nominated for signing of the season. The nominees for best signing of the season are Bradley Dack. Dack arrived from Gillingham for a cost of around £750,000, a hefty bit change in this league. However, the midfield dynamo eventually showed his quality with goals, mass creativity and a bubbly personality which have all grown to love this season. Richie Smallwood Picked up on a free transfer, this signing looked a bit suspect when first unveiled at Ewood Park. However, those concerns were quickly squished when the midfield brick house started to deliver commanding performances which allowed Dak and Co. the creativity to do their thing. A new fan favourite of the club, Smallwood may have lacked the goals, but his passion, tackles and love for the club has been immense. Paul Downing With Rovers having issues at the back for a few years now, many question marks were raised when Downing first arrived on loan at the club. However, a handful of appearances for the club, Downing proved that he could be a solid acquisition at the back when partnered alongside the skipper Charlie Mulgrew. Tony made the correct decision of making Downing's transfer permanent at the earliest opportunity and the defender has continued to be a solid defender when called upon. So here we are folks and the winner of the 2017, if I can get this thing in and blow open, 2017-2018 signing of the season is Bradley Dack. No question really, the £750,000 Rovers paid looks like a bold investment and should they decide to cash in on his talent, which they better bloody not, they could command in excess of 7 or £8 million now to go back in the Championship. Now unfortunately Bradley Dack could not be here this evening to collect this award but I will make sure it gets to him personally. Now moving on to our next award, it's one that you probably don't want to win. It's for 2017-2018 Moron of the Season. There is always one moment or one person uh, throughout any old season that manages to poop on our parade. But in this case, despite their successes and failures and whatever, we have three of them. So, Linda, take it away. The nominees for Moron of the Season are Elliot Ward, Everybody's favourite tea lady, uh, I mean defender, was the finger of blame for Rovers' first two defeats and substandard performances. Ward, who had been on borrowed time with Rovers, ended up on season on loan with NK Dons. And as Rovers was celebrating promotion, Ward was dealing with the relegation with his club, the MK Fakes. Ben Gladwin. Unable to cut it into the championship, Gladwin made the summer switch to Blackman with the hope to kickstart his career. Gladwin made numerous attempts to get Rove's career going, but stalled at each and every attempt until on the night in Plymouth, where Gladwin had the easiest of goal-scoring opportunities, a chance that would give Blackburn Rovers three points if he could place the ball in the back of the net. But the new signing blew a simple chance that even Chris Brown could have scored. Rakeem Harper Plucked from the youth squads of West Brom and thrown into the spotlight at Ewood Park. This youngster had been given a chance to kickstart his young career at one of the best stadiums in England. But when called upon, the youngster showed what he was made of. Absolutely nothing. The youngsters highlight a straight red card in the FA Cup match up against Crew Alexandra. And the winner of this year's Moron of the Year award goes to... Rakeem Harper!
sorry lad, given the opportunity to play for my beloved Rovers and you blew it. I would have given my left bollock to play the same amount of games you did and I would probably died on the pitch to do it. Unfortunately, Rakim Harper also could not be with us this evening, so I will make sure he also gets that award. Uh, it might take a couple of years though. Okay, let's break away from the individual awards for a moment and reveal my Blackburn Rovers team of the season. In goal, no question really, David Raya, a lovely upgrade from Jason Steele only 12 months ago. In defence, left back, Derek Williams. Solid as always, however, he will need to step it up next year with Almari Bell clipping at his heels. Joining him at right back, weird one this one, Darren Lenehan. Lenehan missed a huge chunk of the season, however, when he returned he was re a refreshing and solid at the back. Into centre back and we have Paul Downey. Comfortable possession and a great understanding with his teammates this year. Joining him, the goal scoring defender and skipper, Captain Charlie Mulgrew. Awesome player at, le at this level, hope to see him flourish next season back into the championship. Into midfield, does most of the dirty work, Richard Smallwood, that's right, great addition to the club, gives us all for the, for the jersey, crunch and tackles the lot. Joining Smallwood in the middle of defence is Northern Ireland's Corey Evans. Decent on the ball, showed his class in some of the games and again helps with the donkey work alongside Big Dick. Into the attacking area of the field, Elliot Bennett. Didn't score the amount of goals I was expecting, but he made up for it in amounts of passion. Dirty kit means dedication to the club. I love this man. Joining him in an attack and the only loney to make it into the squad, or into the team, Adam Armstrong. Only here for half a season, hope to get him back next year. Goals, pace, the lad can do it all. Next up, Bradley Dack. Utter class. Love watching his mazy runs. League One cannot handle him. Can the championship? Roll on August. And finally, the striker. Slow starter, but strong finisher. Big DG Danny Graham. Showed his experience this season. Surely another year at Ewood Beck. Get back onto the old individual awards now. We're going to go on to goal of the season. Now, Rovers scored over 90 goals this season in all competitions, but deciding which five should be considered uh, for goal of the season was a pretty tough decision. However, your nominees for the Blackburn Rovers 2017 2018 goals of the season are. The nominees for goal of the season are. Bradley Deck. Charlie Mulgrew. Richie Smallwood. Craig Conway. Adam Armstrong. And the winner for the 2017-2018 goal of the season goes to Charlie Mulgrew for that spectacular looping header. That won us a game up against Doncaster. That got us back into the championship. Well done. Once again, Charlie Mulgrew could not join us this evening, so I'll make sure he gets that award in due time. Okay, moving onwards uh, now to the 2017-2018 Young Player of the Year Award. Now, a number of young Palakman Rovers players managed to break through into the first team this season. However, only three could be nominated. And this year's nominees for this award are... The nominees for Young Player of the Season are... 
David Raya. Such a quality goalkeeper at this level, we are lucky to have him between the sticks. And to think how young this lad is, is a bit of an eye opener. He could be Rovers number one for many, many years to come. Ryan Nyambe. A young defender with a promising future in the game. He had some frustrating games this season as well as injuries, but when called upon, he was a pleasure down the right-hand side of the fence. Joe Nuttall. Ripped up the under-23s with some goal-scoring madness, and it was that form that got him called up to the senior squad before the turn of the year. It was only due to the return of form from ex-Premier League goal scorer Danny Graham that Nuttall couldn't continue up front this season. But the lad scored a couple of crucial goals for the first team in the process. One for the future, perhaps. And the winner of the 2017-2018 Young Player of the Year Award is... David Raya. No question really, this lad is special, pulled off some crucial saves this season, numerous clean sheets, big season for the lad next year. Now once again, David Raya could not be with us this evening, I will make sure, he, along with the others, he will get his trophy. Now moving on to our final award of this evening, uh, the 2017-2018 Player of the Season one. It's the big one, it's the one everybody wants. Take it away, Linda. The nominees for Player of the Season are... Charlie Mulgrew. What a season the captain had from the back. Commanding, goal scoring, set piece dynamo, last man at the back, total professional, and deserves his position in the League One team of the season. Richie Smallwood. Great bargain, bye bye Mowbray. Smallwood often flew in with crunching tackles to save the day. The midfield beast often overlooked for his donkey work, but should be given a lot of credit for his services this season. Bradley Dack. Goals, assists, nutmegs. The boy is special. Rusty start to his new club, but eventually kicked into top gear. He paid that transfer fee before the end of the year and looks like an amazing talent for Rovers' future. Elliot Bennett. This lad eats, sleeps, sweats Blackburn Rovers, and he recently signed a long, longer term deal to keep him at Ewood, and I am happy for that. Called upon to play anywhere and everywhere this season, and is always last man off the pitch. David Raya. An amazing goalkeeper at this level and we proved vital next season. His saves kept us in the title race for as long as possible and without him I am sure our season would have ended much differently and not in a positive way. And the winner, 2017-2018 award for player of the season, folks, cameras on the is Bradley Dack. No question, this lad gets you off your seat. A true midfield maestro. We've lacked this type of player for a long time and I have chuffed the bits he is ours. Let's hope we can keep the bigger clubs off him over the close season and let's build something decent around him and see what the worldies he can knock out next season. And that wraps up this season's awards. If there are some awards you would like to see me do next season, let me know in the comments section below. Take note. Coming soon on this channel will be player by player reviews for their performances at Rovers this season. So stick around for that one. Also, I'll be doing my buy, keep, or sell for Blackburn Rovers. Which players we want to keep, which ones we want to get rid of, and maybe just maybe chucking a few uh, interested selections for future signings for Blackburn Rovers. I also want to let you know that despite the season coming to an end, there's still going to be plenty of Blackburn Rovers content coming through on this channel. So don't you go anywhere. Meanwhile, you might also want to sit back and enjoy the World Cup content in the interim. Also, thank you again for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button wherever it is. Uh, it'll keep you up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Anyway, i got to get out of this whistle and flute. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.